Our next guest is Graham Crosskill, who demonstrates the BARS technique, which releases blockages in the pathways to the mind to enable us to live more consciously with a deeper awareness and joy. I asked Graham to explain what access consciousness means. Kerry, it's access consciousness has uh, been around for about 25 years and it is just growing exceptionally uh, worldwide. You know, we've gone from 40 countries to 132 countries in the world because the tools of access are practical tools that we can use in our everyday life. And it's not about, you know, going to stand under the sun when the moon is on the left and a yellow stone under a tree. It's we need to get to a place in our life where we're able to use these tools to shift the limitations that are going on for us, but in our everyday part, part of our living. So what Access Consciousness is bringing to us, it's bringing us these tools, it's bringing us the awareness, and it's empowering us to know what we know already. And that's where the world is going. How the bar starts is what we'll do is we start pulling the energy through the body by placing the hand on the implant band, which is under the, the head, and putting your three fingers, you'll feel that there's actually three little holes um, that are on the forehead here. And your fingers just gently fit into them as if they've been designed for us to run the bars. So what we do is we pull the, universe, the energy through the universe, through the body, through my hands and out through my head. We pull it like that and then we will reverse it. And that starts the body to receive. All right, once the body has started opening to receiving, we can start running the actual bars. Now, the first bar is called the implant band, which is just behind the ear, but there's a little indentation there, and you will see that your fingers, again, naturally fit into three little holes. The implant band is where we've taken on thoughts, beliefs, judgments, points of views, through histories and histories and histories of, of, of living, and we've locked it up and limited in our life as if it was real. Now, when you start running the implant band, you can run it for about 15 minutes. You'll, once you've finished running the implant band, you'll have this strange clarity that goes on in your life. The, the mind chatter will be gone. The, the wrongness in yourself that you keep on looking at will be gone. And then from there, you're able to step into choice and to step into the, the true self, which is um, the conscious being that you truly be. They're looking for that, that release of the stuff that they know is not true, the wrongness, the judgment, the unconsciousness, and the damage that we're doing to ourselves personally. I mean, if you just look at what's happening around the world in corporate, um, in, in empowerment, people are flocking towards it because we know instinctively that happiness is our natural state of being and it's time to get back there. Now there's 32 points where you can touch gently on the head. The next one is called money, control and creativity. Now how many of you have locked up your, your life and limiting your life based on money and allowing money to be the creator for everything that you do or don't do? Now if you could get rid of all your points of views, all your judgments about money and just see it as an interesting point of view and an energy, you can start asking money to show up for you in ways that you never thought imagined and start creating a, a different possibility. So again, money control creativity, when you're trying to control particular outcomes, how often does that work out for you? When you allow the universe to work for you, how much better can it be? From here, the, we go to the aging toaster. Now the aging toaster is on the back of the head, you won't really see it all that clearly, but it's between from the ears up and then down the middle of the eye, and that's everywhere we've bought into the points of views of aging. So do our bodies really need to start sagging or deteriorating as we get older? Maybe, but maybe not. So from the aging toasters, we go to kindness, gratitude, peace and calm. Now again, that's at the back of the ears, just a bit further up, and if you feel there's three little dots, right, those three little holes are kindness, gratitude, peace, and calm, how much kindness do you have in your life for yourself? And how much gratitude do you have for what you've been doing and who you are? So where you've locked that up and you don't receive that, by running these bars, you'll start being able to receive that in your life, and your life will become a lot more peaceful and a lot more joyful. The next is 
joy, sadness, body, sexuality, and hopes and dreams. Now, there's a lot that goes on in these particular points in our life. So again, it's about coming out of those points of views and out of those sort of determined ways that we have that things have to be the way they are and looking at what else is possible. And again, when you discharge these by running the bars, you start creating more awareness and more space for you in your life and you can start creating a different possibility. All right, um, at the back is recreation and restructuring of bodies. Now what this does is, how often have you gone to a chiropractor, for example? You know, you've had a problem in your neck, he sorts it out, but three days later it shows back and again you're, just, you're uncomfortable. What the restructuring of bodies does is it stops your body going back to where it was once you've run the bars. All right, from there you run the crown of mitar, Okay, so it's basically lifting up the energies here and just pulling them up gently. And it's quite interesting because you get a sense that your whole body sort of like spaces out a little bit. Um, so we run that for about 30 seconds. Then we run the crown, of, the crown here as well and we just start opening the crown and what that does is starts allowing the receiving to show up in a greater dynamic. So the bars can run up to an hour to an hour and a half. Um, and the worst thing that'll happen is you will feel like you've had a really good massage. The best thing that'll happen is it will change your entire life. I had a client recently, she's at school, 15 year old girl, heavily into depression. I ran her bars for an hour and a half and three days later it was gone. And that's just one example of how dynamic the bars can be for you and how dynamic choosing consciousness and choosing awareness can be for you. And if you have a look in what's happening throughout the world and throughout the universe really, is we're becoming more and more aware of what the earth requires, we're becoming more and more aware of what we require and what our bodies require, and we're starting to recognize the nurturing that is, that is required for us to live the life that is possible. Imagine if your life had no limitation, imagine if your life had no point of view, no judgment, no decisions, would you be able to choose what your life could truly be and create that? It's not about giving you an answer. It's about empowering you to start asking questions, to start creating possibilities and start creating the awareness in your life so you can start living the way you know is possible. And the classes will give you that in a major dynamic way. The classes are so much fun. Um, I've traveled around the world in classes and you meet wonderful people and you just, your whole entire being changes. But also sometimes we get real personal things that stick us. Um, for example, you know things like abuse and th that we don't really want to share with anyone. So yeah, a private session will definitely be able to give you that space as well. Yeah. Is BARS a tool of access? Yes, BARS is one of the tools of access, okay. yeah. So if we come to, for a course, then do you run different tools? So you'll learn different tools to use. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, for example, you can come to a bars class, which is one of the first, I'd say, core um, tools of access because it shifts so dynamically. Um, so you'll learn the clearing statement. So if you want to know a little bit more about the clearing statement, go to theclearingstatement.com. And what the clearing statement is, it's a, it's a tool where it energetically gets to the level of what's going on for you and shifts it, you know, just like that. So you just say the clearing statement and it literally works just like that. There's other body processes, there's, there's other techniques and processes that you can use to start releasing the true being and the joy that is naturally you and naturally the world. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Graham, for bringing this new technique to South Africa and let's hope lots of people just sign up and go for it. Yeah, so how does it get any better than this and what else is possible?